everyone and welcome back to Art of La Carte and it is time for me to practice some more in my sketchbook and I haven't done a sketch with me in quite a while so I thought it's time to do another one. So grab your paper, grab something to draw with and sketch with me. Today we're going to be sketching um, some horses just because I want to. I haven't done a horse sketch in a while so I thought I would do that. Um, but to change things up a little bit I'm going to give myself time sketches for each piece. So I'm going to start off with two minute sketches so I can draw for two minutes on one pose and then I have to switch it up. By giving yourself a time limit, if you give yourself a short time limit then it's going to make you really just draw really fast. And if you give yourself a long time limit it's going to make you slow down and get the detail in there. So depending on which one you want to work with, um, you will give yourself different time limits. So I'm going to start off with a couple of short ones, um, two minute sketches, and then I'm going to move to a long sketch. So let's get a picture that I want to do. And I always go off a reference photo, so I'm just going on Google and I just Googled horses. So I'm just going to look. I think I'll do this one here. Um, so you can just Google horse images and have the same horse images as me if you can find them. All right, so let me get my pencil out and ready before we start drawing. It's always good when you're timing yourself to make sure everything's good. And of course, I always get asked, even when I say what it is, I always get asked, but I'm using my Cool Erase um, blue color pencil. You can use whatever you want. All right, are we ready to go? I'll put the server here, I think, so you guys can kind of, I don't know, it's a little far away, but okay. And start. So with the two minute sketch I am really going to just focus on getting in my shapes and my proportions. I'm not going for the details. Now with the sketch with me's it's not always about teaching you how to draw. Um, I'm just showing you what I do to practice. This is what I'll usually do when I am going to spend a good part of the day working on a, a larger piece. I will do a, a sketch exercise and just pick something to sketch. And just kind of like when you do a workout and you need to warm up a little bit. I'm doing a time sketch or just spending some time doing just a practice sketch. Kind of warms everything up and gets it flowing so that you're ready to settle down and actually work on something a little more time involved. So this is good. So I have whew, one more minute to go with. So for any of you guys who maybe need a little bit more step-by-step -step on how to draw horses, I have a whole playlist on how to draw horses. I will leave that in the description box below. You can definitely check them out. I'm always posting, I try to post a horse video at least once every other month to a horse one because I like to draw horses. <clears throat> it's my favorite if I can get out and actually see real horses. I have some friends that have horses and they let me come out and draw them just getting myself to come out. Oh, ah, ah, 20, 27 seconds. Okay, here we go. I'm talking more than I'm drawing. <laughs> I don't even have the head in there. But again, these time sketches are not about trying to get a finished piece. I'm just trying to get the motion, how things look, I'm trying to get my Portion. And there we go. All right, so that was my first time sketch. So let's find another horse to draw. That's a nice horse head. Let's practice a horse head. Okay. So we'll set it up for another two minutes. Boom, there we go. Oh, I thought we needed to get a different piece of paper. All right. Even something that I draw a lot like animals and horses and things like that. It's always good to just keep practicing and draw things different. Don't draw the same thing over and over and over and over again. So what is your favorite thing right now to practice sketching? I'm actually not planning a piece with horses anytime soon. Usually I do a sketch with me for something that I'm planning on working with later on. But I haven't drawn horses in a couple of weeks, so I thought, hmm, you don't use it, you lose it. So I don't want to get rusty on drawing them. Okay, 
and we're down to a minus one minute. Don't let yourself get bogged into the details of what you're drawing. Keep your eyes on the whole picture, not just like, oh, I want to get this eye just perfect. Because then you'll get it done and you'll realize your eyes down here and, and out up here, you know. Keep your eyes, when you're doing these setup sketches, that you're really focusing on the whole piece. Not just obsessed with one area of it. And 15 seconds. Ooh, two minutes goes by really fast. But I even do, sometimes I'll do 30 second draws. I give myself a half a minute. That is really just about capturing, boom, capturing the essence of something, the, the initial shape or motion. We did that in an art class I took. We drew squirrels out in the park, and we didn't need timers because they didn't stay, stay seated for very long. So that's, something. that's got a lot of good motion to it. Let's do that one. All right, setting it back up. Ready, set, go. When I was first beginning in my art, and we actually do the scrolls, I hated it because I wanted to have a finished picture. And I didn't like having half finished pieces. But if you can think of it as a workout, you know, when you warm up, you're not doing the full, you know, cardio and, and weight training and all, of, you know, all that stuff right at the beginning you're just warming everything up to do it and this is your warm-up getting your eyes and your hand coordinated it's helping you see things that you need to work on one minute Okay, I forgot to talk, sorry. <laughs> I get into this and I'm like focused and I forget to talk, but that's okay. Yeah, I think this one's gonna turn up. Okay, the proportion's a little bit long here, but the main thing is not so much that you have to fix it, the main thing is that you see it. You see where you need to some things. And there we go. Okay. So we've had actually six minutes of drawing already. That fast. So let's switch it up. We'll do one more draw, but this time let's switch it up to a five minute draw and see what we can do. So let's find a really fun picture. Okay. We've edited out a few pictures because um, one was a little sad and one was a little too much birds and the bees. That's one thing you have to remember when, when doing these is that um, when you're looking for pictures online, sometimes you're going to see pictures that you don't want to see. Okay, that one's cool. I wonder if I can do that in five minutes. That would be a challenge. So for this drawing, I'm going to also add a woodless graphite pencil. So these are just solid graphite, so there's no wood to them. So I'm going to have those two there to work with. Add some nice dark color. And let's get started. <laughs> So when I'm setting up my drawings, even when I'm doing them fast, I'm looking at not just the shape of what I'm drawing, but also my negative shapes. And the negative shapes are the parts that you can't touch, like right in between here and the neck, which you can't see because I'm drawing really lightly right now. But you're looking at all those things, so don't just look at your actual shapes of the thing, the horse, or whatever you want to draw is. Look at the shapes that it creates with its body on the outside. Where do things intersect? That's going to help you get a better and more accurate drawing, especially when you're drawing from an actual reference photo. I get questions all the time, do I draw from reference photos a lot? Yes, I do. I really enjoy drawing from reference photos. 
um, because it helps me when I don't have a reference photo to draw from. So when I'm doing especially studies like this, I want to make sure that I'm practicing correctly. So getting some photos is really going to help you make sure that you're drawing correctly. And then later on, after you kind of got it down how that thing goes, then you can try without a reference photo. I get a lot of my reference photos. I, I love collecting books and a lot of my friends, if they take fun pictures, will send me pictures. A lot of my friends on Instagram take some amazing photos and have let me use them in the past, which is so much fun. So that's, that's a nice place. Or just, you know, Googly images, as long as you know that to be cautious, there have been times that I have run across images that I didn't want to see and that had nothing to do with what actually I was searching for. People are just weird in their labeling. Okay, so now that I've got the shape in here, I'm gonna go in with my dark. I'm gonna use the side of it to kind of pull in this lead. Now the thing I don't care for graphite, especially this softener graphite is, it's just going to go everywhere. It's a very, it's not as bad as like charcoal, but you'll find that it will smear on other pages and things like that. So if you take a little fixative or even like aerosol uh, hairspray and just kind of spray it, it will stay much better. Already at the two minute mark. Oh my goodness. Five minutes can go by so fast. People ask me, how long does it take you to do a drawing? And seriously, when I'm drawing, I forget about time. I'm like, oh, an hour or two to do that picture. And then I, especially if I record it, that's when I really realized how long it actually takes me to take to do things is when I do my speed draws and paints. And I seriously think I have only been working on it for an hour or so, and then I go and download the the file, and my footage is like four hours long. It's like, what? How is that even possible? But it is. You just kind of get wrapped up into your own little world. So this one here is a little bit lighter of lead. So we're going to use it to do some initial shading. down to almost one minute. Almost, I think we're done with time. It's about ready to go up, but I don't want to stop, check. It'll, it'll ring when it's done, done. Maybe, maybe it'll give me all the time I need. No. Okay. <laughs> so not bad for a five minute drawing. Short drawings and then gave ourselves a little bit of a longer draw. Six plus five, so that's a good 10 minute workout. It's good enough to get kind of your hands warmed up and get ready to start your day. So thank you guys for hanging out with me in this little sketch with me. If there's something that you'd like me to do in, you know, a theme or something that you'd like in a future sketch with me, or we can just sketch a whole bunch of things, well, let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see the rest of my sketch with me videos, I'll put a link to the playlist for those also in the description box below. You can check it out. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thanks for drawing with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.